going to be going on to episode 32 of the twit this week bungie literally gave us the worst map they could have for the current meta like actually like i <laughs> It could not have been worse. This was the best map for the meta, but the worst map if you dislike the meta. Um, regardless of that, we got first. Obviously, I was using the meta doing so, but we did get first this week. Again, making that my 11th weekly first or world's first uh, ever, which is uh, probably more than I think anyone has. I think Denny might have one more than me, actually. So, But regardless, him and I, like as a duo, uh, have the most. And as a trio with Redeemer, that's, uh, we have the most is out of anyone. Not that most people care. Like, I feel like a big majority of the community. Like, there's not really many people that go for it. So, there's a there's a decent amount. I'd say there's probably consistently, I don't know, maybe 20 to 30 teams that I see going for it pretty consistently. But that's such a small, like, portion of the community. Um, but, I mean, people get hyped for it. So, I love, I love doing it. It's something that I personally look forward to every week. And it's just one of the only things that, if you're a PvP player, is kind of in the game to look forward to at this point. So, as I... I've stated many times but yeah so that was great it's great to get that we did that with Benny I've actually never played for his card with Benny I don't think so that was that was nice it's been nice to like play with different people and get some world's first accomplished got one with Zorbic and with Benny two weeks in a row a little two-week shriek either I think I think we got no 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 we're not in a two-week shriek because I didn't play midtown my bad we're not in a two-week shriek I didn't play midtown week so because I was uh doing something but anyway this week anyway as you could have imagined uh dead man's tail was the number one weapon had a, a million kills and no time to explain it was in the number two spot with 900,000 and then revision zero with 400,000 and then Be beloved was actually number four which I'm very surprised about and that will probably be the extent of me talking about the weapons i mean i'll t actually I'll talk a little bit more about it so i'm not surprised dmt was in the number one spot because dmt in terms of a primary weapon has a very good like close to medium range effectiveness um as well as extremely competent long range in terms of long range it out it beats out every pulse rifle in my opinion like it beats out no time to explain revision zero uh the battler messenger it outperforms all of those weapons because it's a scout in the long range per Perseus D, which if you're watching my stream, uh, I would swap to sometimes, does actually outperform it in those long ranges. Um, it, Perseus D, like at the high end for its range, has like, it, you can basically have like 100 meters of range literally on that thing. And it will actually outrange DMT, which is like pretty crazy to me. So, but you know, that that is why I think it was in that number one spot because it's just such a solid weapon. Like it's so good in almost every situation most of the time that it's, it's just a no-brainer brainer to pick that so and then no time it's just the best pulse in the game so and but I, I felt i personally ended up swapping off no time like i was using no time and a shotgun and i personally swapped off that for a eye of soul in shiras and i actually enjoyed eye of soul shiras and i felt like it worked a lot better against better teams than uh no time to explain and a shotgun did because better team like really good teams right now they they just like sit all the way in the back of the map with sniper and there's literally nothing like you having no time does not matter like it does not matter at all you will just you're not going to deal enough damage to them because they're just so far in the back and then if you actually end up do closing the gap they're just going to like drain you or you know shiraz you or aikilo system they're just going to have close range weapons that are better at that effective range so I ended up swapping off no time, which I used for a majority of this weekend because I just felt like in against those teams and in those situations, no time just was really lacking. Like it, it wasn't very good at long range, like really long range. And it wasn't like super great and medium to close either. And it did me like good for a while, but I think I probably would have done better this weekend if I was using Shiras and a sniper the entire time. So kind of wish I would have swapped sooner, but you know, I know that in the future, I guess. I just don't as well. I just don't typically snipe. So, but I, I was doing all right with it i also need to get a defiance yasmin uh that's off topic but i'm like one out of five and i just need to raid during the week and get that but i'm once again not surprised dmt is where it is given that it's pretty much good at every effective range in terms of a primary weapon and uh, once again I'm, i am actually surprised beloved is where it's at because i i don't know i just feel like defiance yasmin's better but anyway moving on to the loadouts that people are using in the classes titan was actually in second place which i'm very surprised about because titans just i feel like titan this was once again literally the best map to be playing arc titan on like there is not a better map for, than this one and oh my 
I just realized as I'm looking at this, Sightons broke Sightons broke past Dune Marchers. That is crazy. That is actually crazy to me. But anyway, continue to talk about Arc Titan. Um, you know, Arc Titan was picked 23% of the time if a person was a Titan, which is way more than all of the other subclasses combined were picked, which I'm sure Bungie is looking at. Like they I, I just cannot wait for this shit to get nerfed like i actually cannot wait like it, it, it is so i know it's ha it's gonna happen it's inevitable but it's just about like how and when and i hope when they nerf it that it's enough to the point that it's like not widely used anymore because this meta is just exhaust it you like can't push like if you push it, it's it's exhausting it's something i'm not gonna get into it i'll just end up ranting but it's uh, the fact that like sightens was more than dune marchers that's crazy to me sightens was at 9.3 percent whereas dune marchers was at 8.8 .8, and stompies is still the number one spot at 11 and then ophidian's number two like i'm just it's cr i never thought that sightens would actually be used high like more over dune marchers but i mean if there was any map where that was going to be the case it would be this week because i mean it's it's just this map is so big and there's like no cover. And then with Sightings, you can create cover and you can also shoot through the cover. And it's just, whew. I am, uh, like I said, cannot wait for that to get nerfed. I also can't wait for Storm Grenades to get nerfed. I don't even think the Storm Grenades need to get nerfed, like in terms of damage or duration, like in terms of how long they last. I think it's their cooldown that needs to be nerfed. I think they need to have a lot higher cooldown. I think their base cooldown needs to be higher. And I think if you use the the aspect that increases the duration, you sh your grenade shouldn't regen until the grenade's gone. So like it should add an extra eight seconds, essentially, to your grenade cooldown on top of the base cooldown, which I think should be like probably made to be like two minutes and 30 base or something like that so like your grenade's gonna take like over a minute to regen even if you fully spec into it and like have like a uh, utility grenade you killed utility kickstart or whatever and then it will finally be balanced because i don't think they should kill the grenade because it the thing is is you have to look at how it would affect the other classes because the other classes storm aids are horrible i guess oh man but that would affect it if you make the base cooldown longer that would affect it on the other classes i don't know maybe buff them like the initial blast like make the initial blast stronger or do more damage but make it so the cooldown's really long so it's it's still good on those other classes and will still serve the same purpose but it's just not it's not as spammable like it's not something that you can like just go crazy and spam like you can right now which is just absolutely ridiculous even with a 40 second cooldown it's like unreal so and they definitely need to look at the class abilities and stuff uh as well i mean that's something a lot of people have been saying and we i'm seeing people like aztec cross and oh it's 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 good to see that like everyone is uniting against it and i mean this typically happens with every meta so but i'm, I'm happy that all these things will be getting nerfed and it's crazy to me that you're seeing so many there's so many people that are like tight shields are fine they've been fine all this time like what's the problem now and it's like well there's a couple of issues like the airborne effectiveness system you know storm grenades in combination with titans and thunder crash like there, there's a lot of contributing factors and i mean ultimately all abilities i think need to get nerfed and i just can't wait for when that happens it's going to be wonderful anyway we will make that the video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did enjoy please make sure to like comment subscribe as we're getting very close to 25k and i will see you guys in the next one peace out